Hey guys, it's Twitter Maxwell here and welcome to another episode of Maxi Recommends. Today I'm looking at this young Brazilian striker from Corinthians and his name is just Malcolm. Now Malcolm, as you can see here, is 17 years of age, will be turning 18 at the end of your first season and I think just looking at what you can just generally see here, there's a lot of potential here. A lot of stats and double figures, you know, there's only maybe, was it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in total that are not in double figures. And we've got a kid at that age, at 17, the potential here must be massive. I mean, as a striker, he can also play in the wing. His crossing's good. The first touch is really good. The heading's good, so you can maybe use him as a target man. Although, saying that, he's not the biggest and he's not the heaviest, so I would probably say not use him as a target man, but definitely the stuff on the ground is pretty decent. The passing's got room to manoeuvre. The technique's pretty decent. He's aggressive. He's very determined. His flair's quite decent. You know, the off the ball, the teamwork and vision, there's still a lot of room to improve them, but he's 17. And I mean, having 15 pace, uh, sorry, 13 pace, 15 fitness, decent agility, decent acceleration, there's definitely room for Malcolm to improve. In my opinion, the only thing that is worrying is his torn hamstring. Which I'm not sure if he starts with this, but if he does, will it take a hindrance in his stats? We'll find out. The scout report I got for him says he's two star ability at the moment for Russia, the Russian Premier League, a potential being a four star, five star player in this division. As you go with the pros and cons, the pros, potential to be a world class striker in the future, so that's always a positive good starting sign. Um, he's a determined player, as we know, he's got a balanced and a normal personality. He's quite adaptable when it comes to living in another country, so that would be good if you bring him in young, he'll, be, he'll adapt pretty quickly. He's fast, his acceleration's good, and of course he's got that versatility, versatility about him where he can play both up front and on the right, although at the moment I would definitely say play him up front. Weakest attribute would be tendency not to get stuck into rough challenges, he's a striker again, when do you ever get a striker going for challenges like that? We need to learn the language, that's always going to happen with a foreign player. And the weakest aspect of his game is he's selfish, what striker isn't. I mean, I'm very happy with what that report says. I do like the look at Malcolm. Other information, he's got a balanced personality. His agent owns 20%, so that may cause a bit of a problem. But you can see there, natural striker, competent AML, competent AMC, accomplished AMR, but you probably best use him as a trek or a poacher. So that'll be interesting. Eligibility, obviously, is going to be Brazilian and he's going to be in the Corinthians youth system. So, overall, I like the look of him. He's going to be one player that I'm really intrigued to see how he turns out over the next 6 and 10 years. Fast forward 6 years, guys, and this is what you get a youngster that has improved absolutely immensely with his technical stats. I mean, wow. 23 year old, 17 crossing. So 17 corners, 16 crossing, 15 dribbling, 17 finishing, 16 first touch, free kick taking is great, his penalty taking is great, so it's all the set pieces he's going to be amazing at. Heading's good as I say, the passing even could get to a 15 which would be good, and the technique's still at 14, but I mean, those main stats that you want for a striker, technically, are all pretty damn awesome. Um, he's not really gained much in aggression, his anticipation's up to a 15, the concentration's good now, decisions 16, flair at 16, and he's off the balls up to an 18, probably could do a bit more with his teamwork and his vision's pretty decent, but work rate again, flatters to deceive. Like most people from Brazil, he may be technically superb, but physically he leaves a lot to be desired, the agility's good, and you could argue the pace and acceleration's okay, but everything else I think could use a lot to improve on. Um, he's wanted by two clubs at the moment, and those two clubs that could pay, would probably need to pay about 20 million from now, would be Monaco and Lyon. So he's already been attracted to big clubs in France, and obviously a couple of seasons in, the French league tends to improve pretty dramatically. And finally, if you look at his career history stats, you'll see decent first season. Second season he went out to Herenveen, where he had 8 goals in 28 games at only 18, so that's a pretty decent return. He then went to Red Bull Salzburg, 8 goals in 11 games there before coming back to Brazil to have a loan spell at Internacional. We've never really done much, which is a bit of a shame. But the last couple of seasons, back at Corinthians, 6 goals in 15, 18 and 27, and so far this season, 5-5, five and five, show that once this kid really gets played, he could be a massive asset to anyone in Football Manager 2015. So remember this name, 
remember, Malcolm. Remember when I said his um, mental stats were pretty poor? He kind of improved that when he got to Europe. As you can see now, 10 seasons in, Malcolm is um, a striker. Now at Monaco, worth £35.5 million on £155,000 a week, not too shabby. And also now has 26 caps for result with 15 goals. I mean, look at that. Only dribbling of the main stats is less than, you know, 16. It's amazing. 16 corners, the crossing's good. Finishing 17, first touch 17, the free kick is at 17, it's just amazing, the, the technique's high, but it's the mentals that I'm more impressed with here. Anticipation's good, concentration, decisions, flair, off the ball, vision, holy crap, this kid has turned into an absolute beast. Again, I keep bringing this up though, as technically gifted he is, and as mentally good as he is now, I don't like those physicals, they are pretty poor, I mean, he's pacey, but... I feel it could be a lot better, and especially the strength of the things. So I think if I'm ever going to sign Malcolm, I'm definitely going to work on his fitness coaching and stuff like that, his strength, if he's just endurance and stuff like that. Since he's came to France, which would have been in the 2020 season, he's done okay. He's got just under 10 goals a season, playing most games and averaging roughly about 7.0 per season. It's not great, but again, when you look at these stats, you wonder yourself. What can I achieve with this kid? You know, he looks that good technically, mentally. If I can work on his physicals, you know what I mean? If I can get the best shooter to him, how good can Malcolm really be? But for somebody you could pick up probably for about two, three million at the start, it's definitely going to be a worthwhile investment, guys. I truly recommend him. So it'll be interesting if any of you guys do end up signing Malcolm, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you any gazzles or anything, put them down there and we'll compare how he looks in your game to how he's developed in this game where just the AI has took complete control of his career. So thanks for tuning in guys, this was 21 Maxwell, this is Malcolm, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye bye.